We began our road trip by traveling to South Dakota. It took us two days to get there. We went through Wisconsin, Minnesota, and then the flatlands of South Dakota. On the third day, we actually spent that day in South Dakota. This way we could do some sightseeing while we were there, and then it would break up the trip on the way to Yellowstone. So of course we had to stop at Mount Rushmore. I have never been here before, but Ruben and his parents have, but it was still cool to see. And then it cooled off a little bit and started raining and we just drove around and looked for wildlife. This was the first bison that we saw on the trip. Pretzel was not a fan. What kind of dog is that? <laughs> And then we saw some antelope on the side of the road. And one of my favorite animals that we saw on the trip were these donkeys. Apparently people feed them because they knew exactly where to go. They were sticking their heads inside of the cars. They were so cute. After a while the sun came out and so did a rainbow and we decided to pull over and watch the prairie dogs. All of a sudden you just feel bah! <laughs> prairie dog hole. <laughs> Taking a diarrhea hat. <laughs> After spending one day in South Dakota, it was time to head to Yellowstone, so we were off to Wyoming. Our campground that we'd be staying at in Wyoming was about seven hours from where we were at in South Dakota. The drive going through Wyoming was definitely a lot more interesting than the drive going to South Dakota. With the river takes far away from home Time to ponder in the fields around me Where there's nothing but the breeze and the gray unknown Leave the worries and your suitcase All you don't need, nothing but you taking a trip with my husband and his parents and obviously pretzel um, it's been tricky to vlog because my camera broke um, the flip up screen was broken so it was just like hanging by a thread and I thought it was gonna completely break but whatever here we are we're staying um, kind of like by the Teton Mountains um, I think we're technically in Teton National Park 
Um, but right now, today, we are up in Yellowstone, so um, it's very beautiful. So we didn't really have a plan today. Right now, he's just scoping out a place to fish. Um, we've stopped at a couple places on the way up here. And now, I've got this map that they gave us on the way in. And we were just right here at Fountain Flat Drive. I think we're probably just like one notch above. And I think we're gonna go all the way over here. I wanna go through Hayden Valley, maybe fish a little bit of this, and then head back to make some elk burgers. I got some at the grocery store, so. You're like a firefly Guide me out of the woods now Oh, I think I lost my way but got you to help me back Tell me what I should do now Glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing You feel pretty, wow So beautiful See that steam heat coming? It's from my undercarriage Feel that steam heat coming? That's from my undercarriage Okay Oh my gosh, a hat I got the jacket I need something oh. for you Cause you're a little chilly this help you out? Come. Would you like to join us, Pretzel? Uh, uh so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for asking me. Yeah. I would absolutely die. You're literally crying, climbing out. Let's go. Oh, it's One thing that I didn't really expect to find as interesting as I did were the hot springs. It's definitely something that you have to see in person. A picture just doesn't do it justice. As we were approaching them, it was weird. You could kind of just feel the heat and humidity just hit your face, especially with the contrast of the more crisp and dry air. I haven't seen any. She is so cute right up on you. Yeah, I follow my dad. Now follow me. <laughs> you zooming in on my ass? No. grab my sunglasses up in there no in the middle thank you this is already so much nicer because no one's here
It's like a hot tub. One might call it a hot spring. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. It's pretty wild. Rush of like the cold too. The normal air. This is weird. It's weird because the air is so cool and then that's so hot. That is so cool. That is cool. That's hot. It would be really cool to come out here once it starts getting really cold. Oh, for sure. Imagine all the steam. Oh, the crow. <laughs> that's a big bird. We then drove through Hayden Valley, which is known for a lot of wildlife sightings. And sure enough, we saw a ton of bison roaming around. Big fish right here. Hey, bitch. Hey, big tuna. Like, hold on a minute. Just making sure. It really looked like Just one. Just making sure. We're back at the campsite now. Wanted to show you my outfit really quick that I wore today. This is from North Face, but it's like the men's section. My hat is Nike. Leggings are Lululemon. And then these are my favorite hiking boots. These are from the On Running brand or On Cloud or whatever. And then these are some wool socks from Amazon that are great for hiking as well. This is our little pop-up camper. This is our bed. Hello, I wonder if you're the motherfucker that bit me last night. You are a big bitch. <laughs> Cute. Now we can see you in the dark. Yeah, now we can see you in the dark. You pretty girl. Cool. We ended every night with cooking on the fire. We usually made steak, hot dogs, or cheeseburgers. Tonight I had an elk burger, which is one of my new personal favorites. One of my favorite things from the trip was just drinking our morning coffee while sitting around the fire. We did this pretty much every single morning. On this morning, we headed up towards Tower Falls. We initially headed to Lamar Valley, but found out we needed a separate pass to drive through, but it ended up working out because Tower Falls was pretty close by and it ended up being really beautiful. We thought these were goats, but they turned out to be two big horned sheep. They came all the way down that hill right there and they came right up next to us and followed us along the fence. We're pretty sure they smelled pretzel. Uh, don't worry, we kept our distance just like we do with all wildlife. Then we hiked the trail at Tower Falls and we kept going past where the trail ended just to get away from the crowds. Just beautiful. 
Glad we went down here? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. See, this is where it's fun, the, the restricted access <laughs> where you're not supposed to go. My pals. What are you thinking, pretzel? What do you think? I don't like the sofa. It's stinky. R.I.P. Oh, is that the spot? I got the spot. Good girl. You look like you're high. That was a little uh, scary, though. What? Your sneeze attack. Like, you could not stop. I'm so worried about her. You doing okay? You guys both need Benadryl. <laughs> you guys both need Benadryl. We need Benadryl. The next morning, we left super early and headed back up towards Lamar Valley, another hot spot for animal sightings. This time, we had our passes and the fog was super cool and eerie. How it sways in the sun Keeping our stories In its motion Lies the truth about us One of the main animals I wanted to see on this trip was a wolf and unfortunately we didn't see any but we have heard that going to Lamar Valley is one of the hot spots for seeing wolves. So if you find yourself in Yellowstone and want to see a wolf, definitely head up there and go really early in the morning. You know, why is this got to be the place of all the big rocks that look yeah. just like bison? see a big herd no? and there's still some on the other side of the road over there too yeah oh so cute around. and look at somebody's having a duck yeah. come on girl <laughs> look out here she comes the woman that I love it's too bad she'll never know I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing her How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me Got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before 
But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else And I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know, na na She'll never know It's like she stole my heart to this little stream so that Ruben can do some fly fishing and it felt good to just get out of the car and do some real adventure type stuff because a lot of stuff has just been driving in the car get out see something get back in the car drive so on and so forth so it's nice to get out and get in nature it was supposed to be two miles but it seemed like much much longer <laughs> and there's not a lot of shade so it's just really hot so as soon as we got here i just dunked pretzel in the water just to cool her off and she's doing good been nice to try to get away from people but a lot of people are on this hike too so in fact i don't know if you can see them but there's a family like behind me on the mountains <laughs> just eating lunch it's very peaceful over here we had to hike through <clears throat> like mounds and mounds and mounds of bison poop <laughs> Caca. pretty sure Pretzel's gonna need a little bath when we get back. I'm surprised how dry it is here. Like everything is just so dry. I didn't realize. This is probably the greenest I've seen. Like if you look up there, how gray it is. It's everywhere. It's just like this gray yellow everywhere. How you doing? You hot now? Yeah, because you laid in the sun, dingus. I got her wet and then she rolled in the mud. <laughs> got these uh red bites or just like red rashes on her tummy she doesn't seem to be bothering her but it look i looked it up and it looks like it's just like a bite from something they seem to be going away so that's good and she hasn't like acted any different so you doing good good job you're gonna get dunked again soon because you're already drying it off it was 35 this morning and now it's at least 80. <sighs> what kind of bone do you think that is? I don't know. Something new. Like blue bison. It's probably a bone. You did such a good job. Yeah. You did such a good job on your hike. Such a good job. Wow. Just excellent work. You did so good. Oh, you're the master of that walk now. <laughs> I'm going to scramble up the eggs in here. Okay. Keep some of the bacon grease. Okay. You got it. Oh, oh perfect. Onions and jalapenos. You like jalapenos? I do. Well, these aren't jalapenos. No? What do you They're got? Serrano. Oh. A little bit higher on those. What do you call it? Scoville? Something like that. <laughs> Yum. Delish. Angle you. <laughs> Don't know. wide angle me. Yeah, well, it's got a wide angle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bison, please. You know it's kind of funny How a room full of things Feels completely empty When you're not in the wings How could I have known The fortune I would find Deep in my bones. On our last day after making breakfast, we went out of Yellowstone and down this dirt road that Reuben found. Anywhere feel like home. Home is where we live. It's living by your side. 
One of the main drawbacks of Yellowstone is that it's extremely popular, so it feels more like a zoo than being in the wild. So it was really nice to get away from the popular areas and just be out in nature away from everyone. So far this to me is the most beautiful spot that we've seen just because there's nobody around, like nobody at all. You got the trees and the water. So pretty. So beautiful. Let's see I've it. I've used one of these before for the fanny. <laughs> Did you know that in Australia, fanny is another name for the front? Is it a crotch pack now? So think about it, fanny pack. <laughs> Let's oh. see. Cute. I know it is. Oh, and I can't imagine any other way. The way our world needs your touch. You're touching every space and now it makes. On our last night, Ruben and I went on a night drive. This out of everything is what I recommend to do out of everything that we did. And I wish that we had done it earlier so that we could have done it every single night that we were there. I didn't get much on camera because it was at nighttime, but the stars were the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen. I know shooting stars are technically meteors, but the only way to describe one of the shooting stars that we saw was that it was a meteor because it was red and green and just looked like fire shooting across the sky. We came across some elk and then we shined a light off into the distance and we saw about 50 sets of eyes staring back at us, so that was really cool. And then Ruben actually howled out of the window, which riled up a pack of coyotes off in the distance. And then we just sat in silence for a while and just listened to these elk communicate to each other across the distance. We had three days of traveling home and we went a little out of the way into Colorado so that we could get some in and out. Uh, we don't have one anywhere near where we live so it was worth the trip even in 98 degree heat with no air in our truck. I'm so glad I vlogged our trip to Yellowstone. I love that we have these memories documented on camera so that we can look back on them for years to come. Let me know where we should travel to next and thank you so much for watching. Bye.